Alright, Shalom. It's the brother from the GMS of Carolina camp. Back with another video. Before we go any further, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Heath Apostle, the Great Millstone, for teaching us the truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful like the nation of Israel. This is book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 17. And it reads, Obey them that have the rule over you, and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls, as they must give an account, that they may do it with joy, and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. Come, let's read that again. Hebrews thirteen seventeen. It says, "Obey them that have the rule over you." Come, and, uh, and I got that de definition of the word "obey." The definition of "obey" to follow the commandment or guidance of to confirm to. Saki, to conform to or to comply with. Come on. So scripture says it says obey them that have the rule this Hebrews thirteen seventeen, obey them that have the rule over you. So you have to comply with the orders the order, you know, that Yahweh Bai Shimei Yahweh Shai have set up here on the earth, starting with our head apostle, the great millstone, and the men over you, and the elders on down, and the men over you in the camps, the elders of the camps, who Yahweh Bai Shimei Shai have set up to be the leaders. And so it says, Obey them that have a rule over you, and submit yourselves. And let's look up that word, submit. It's in the online, def online definition. Um, this is submit, accept, or yield to a super, sorry, to a superior force or to the authority or will of another person. Come. So you have to submit yourselves to the men that Yahweh by Shemeshai set up. And follow follow the ordinance and their commandments that they've given out. You know, if you um, if the head of if the elders, if the apostle heart said that the brothers gotta do three videos a week, then you gotta do three videos a week. If the apostle sent out an order, and if the head brothers in your camp sell order saying you gotta do the homework, then. And once before camp, then you have to do the homework and turn it in before camp. You can't, you know, stray away from that because ultimately Yahweh by Shemel Shai set up these men. Kind of Hebrews 13 and 17. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your soul. Come and how are they doing that? By leading us in the right in the right steps of righteousness, you know? Um correcting us. Teaching us how to, you know, teaching us, teaching us the truth, you know, how, what, teaching us what is well pleasing unto Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. And it reads, as they must give an account that they may do it with joy and not with grief, grief for, the, for that is unprofitable for you. Come on. And you can tell that the apostles and elders and the men of your camp, they watch over your soul with joy, you know. It doesn't grieve them to um, to lead you in the path of righteousness. This is um, 1 Corinthians 4 and 15. For though ye have 10,000 instructors in the... In, sorry, for though ye have 10,000 instructors... In a Mashiach, yet ye, in a, in a Mashiach, yet have ye not many fathers? For in 
Yahweh Shai Mashiach, I have begotten you through the gospel. Come, so it says, um, For though ye have ten thousand instructions in the Mashiach, yet have ye not many fathers. Come, because the apostles and elders of great millstones, starting with the head apostles, you know, Apostle Har, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Ramnab, and Apostle Rakar, and I said their names to the best of my ability. But um, they're the they're our fathers in the truth, you know. They're the ones that taught us the gospel. The verse sixteen, wherefore, come and um, since they're our fathers in the truth, the scriptures say to obey your father, you know. Scriptures say to obey them that have the rule over you. It says, um, wherefore, I beseech you, be ye followers of me, come. And we're going to be followers of the, this, and this is um, Paul speaking to the churches, saying, be ye followers of him, because he's a follower of, Yah of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, you know, a follower of righteousness. Just like him, let me get back to the scriptures. Here it is, this is, um, Oh, come, come, so I can. This is, um, I'm going to get First Timothy's 1 and 1. Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai by the commandment of Yahweh, our, so I can. Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai by the commandment of the Most High, our Savior, and Lord Yahweh Shai which is our hope. Unto Timothy, my son, in the faith. Come, so Paul was a father to Timothy in the faith. Not a fleshly father, but in the faith, you know. You know. Mercy, and there is mercy and peace from Yahweh our Father. And Yahweh Shai Mashiach our Lord. And Yahweh Vashim Shai. Except the head apostle of the great millstone to be our fathers, you know, to lead us in the path of righteousness. This is on First Corinthians four, exactly First Corinthians one and eleven. First Corinthians eleven and one. Be ye followers of me, even as I am of a Mashiach. Come. That's why Paul said, "Be ye followers of me." In the fourth chapter. Because he's a follower of Yahweh Shemashiach. And in Hebrews it said that. For they watch for your souls. So the Yahweh Shemashiach has set up men. To lead the nation of Israel. Which are consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. And the men that he set up. Are the head apostles of great millstones. Which spiritually are like are our fathers. You know through the faith. And. As they're being our fathers, you know, our, and we being their children in the faith, we have to obey what they say and um, follow their instructions. Because ultimately, everything they tell us to do, they tell us because um, they know that will be well-pleasing to Yahweh by Shema Shai for us to do that thing. Because Yahweh by Shema Shai. Through the Spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, start our apostles and elders were set up. And um, this is 1 Corinthians 11 2. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinance as I delivered them to you. Come on. So let's get what that word ordinance is. Because I'm out here, the brothers of. Um, the brothers out there, out here in the GMS North Carolina camp, in the Charlotte camp, we had the honors of um, meeting the Apostle Ricar, and he, um, you know, he dropped some knowledge and helped us order our camp better, order all the camps better in North Carolina. Gave us the order how everything should be done, you know. This is, um... The definition of ordinance in um, the Webster Dictionary and or an author an authority 
in author or Thor. Oh, so I can't. I can't pronounce that word now. Authoritative decree or direction. Come in the direction to lead you in the way of righteousness. Let me get it in the online etymology. Um, definition of or 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 in it and author author authoritative direction decree or command con so when the apostle another when the apostle Ricard came down he basically was giving out a commandment and saying that the camp has to be run this certain way and now Ever since, you know, he departed from us, we noticed that, you know, it's it's profitable, you know. It's all, it was all for our benefit. It helped the camp grow, and it's still helping the camp grow. Um, come on. Oh, here it is. This is on Second Timothy three and fourteen. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of. Come, because when you first came into the truth, you know, you were like when you first watched your first video or when you watched a few videos, you're like, man, this. When you heard the brothers teaching, you heard the apostles and other teaching, like this is the truth, you know. But, and it says, in the scriptures, read, you know, continue in that, you know, continue in all the things that you learned. So, Second Timothy 3 and 14, but continue thou in the things that thou hast learned, and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, Khan. So, the apostles and elders have been teaching us the truth from the beginning. We have to continue under their teaching and under their guidelines that they have set up. To help us to to lead us to righteousness, you know, because they watch for our souls, you know. So if the apostles and elders are the men in your own, um, the elders of your camp give out in order, just do it, you know. If you have having trouble, do it. Pray to Yahweh by Shema Shai that Yahweh by Shema Shai helps you complete the task, you know, because ultimately Yahweh by Shema Shai speaks to his servants. Come, that's what I wanted to get. There's um. So it's all, when when the apostles and elders are speaking, you gotta remember that it's ultimately Yahweh by Shema Shah is speaking. This is pro, Hebrews one and one. Yahweh, who at sundry times and in di, diverse manners spake in times past, excuse me, unto the fathers by the prophets. Come. I'm read that again, Yahweh. Hebrews 1 and 1, Yahweh, who at sundry times in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. So Yahweh by Shema Shai speaks through his men. And, you know, it said in time past. Let's just want to get one more scripture and those people want to get, um, you know, simple, you know. This is the book of Malachi. Chapter 3, slot here. Chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, Yahweh Shem El Shai, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Come on, so Yahweh Shem El Shai doesn't change, you know. So before he set up Paul, the apostle, you know, the apostle Paul. And, you know, he begot Timothy. The same thing will happen in this day of time. In, you know, 2017. In years on back. But, you know, that was the point of the video. Hope you brothers been edified. Before we go any further, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh B'Hashem Yahashem. Double honors to the head apostle, the great millstone. For teaching us 
100% truth of the Bible, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.